Well, good morning, folks. I'm here on the Tennessee River once again. I can't stay off of it. Today, oh, well, right now it's currently 58 degrees. Uh, the water temp is at 68. Foggy morning. 6.30 in the morning. I'm out here to catch a big catfish. I don't care if it's a flathead or blue. Either one to do. All right, let's cut us a... Let's go ahead and cut us a uh, head piece right here. There we go. That's a pretty good size head right there. Not real big. I'm gonna start off a little bit small and I'll probably get bigger and bigger and bigger because if I catch a big catfish, I'll just make my baits bigger and bigger and bigger till I'm probably going to throw the whole shad out there. <laughs> uh, I'm going to hook him right here. Now, they're tough, so right about right there. I'm going to leave as much hook exposure as I can. Look at there. I'd miss that fish probably if I didn't do that. Clear that scale. I'm using a... Uh, the current's not moving real quick this morning. That could change. But I'm using a two ounce bank sinker uh, and a bead to protect my knot, a barrel swivel, 50 pound leader of about 23 inches long, looks like, maybe 22, a 10 alt uh, cigar hook made by Eagle Claw, and there's my head. Now, on my main line, I have 40-pound test. I'm not going to use anything less than that, folks, because there's been some pretty good fish biting here lately. Uh, on a silver cat, 7'6 silver cat elite rod. And this is the catfish special made by Ambassador. 6500C3. So let's make a cast. That's a lot to go through, but we might as well do it right. Now I'm fishing rocks again on the edge of this river. It's on the bottom, right there. That's all we're fishing is rocks. I've got my drag adjusted to where if a big blue or flathead hits it, He'll be able to peel that line off, maybe. It might be a little tight, but not tight enough to where to break my line. You don't never know what's in Tennessee River. And today, I'm gonna try the Dragon Demon right here, given to me by John No, and see if we can get bid on it. Uh, I'll do that a little bit later on, right here. It has rattles in it. And if I catch a fish on it, it'll be John's. Okay, I have another rod right here, rigged the same way, except for this is a Cat Max reel I bought at Bass Pro Shop for $69. I caught a big flathead the other day with it, handled that fish well. The only thing is, it did have 30 pound line on it, but I put 40. Uh, it's out of the question to use 30 pound test line in this type of current. I'm not going to do that anymore. I had too much trouble with that fish. If a big blue hits that, which that's what I'm wanting to happen right here, these fish is going to come up current, smell the bait, grab the bait, and haul buggy down. And, um, Nine times out of ten, a blue will hook yourself. A flathead bite's a lot different. Uh, a lot of times they'll pick the bait up and actually come to you. And sometimes they'll go the other way, but a lot of times they'll just do that. They're, the bite's a lot different. Dog gone. Couldn't get the camera on quick enough for the takedown. Well, y'all seen the takedown. 
That fish is heading this way. I can't tell you how he's fighting out there in that, that doggone current. It's a blue, I can tell. It's not a flathead. That was on that big head. Mm. You talking about fighting? This fish is mean right here. I'm wanting a great big one. Oh, yeah, he's a good one. I'm talking about, I'm after a mule today, but I am every time. <laughs> Excuse me, folks. <laughs> I was about to pull an uh, anchor right here. I got a 30 pound. It takes about a 30 pound anchor right here, or it does for me to quit fighting, for me to hold. Boy, that's a big old fat catfish. Quit. Man. There's a lot of difference between catching them in current and just in the lake. When you're catching them on the river, uh, in current, it makes it pretty tough, to tell you the truth. But come on in here. The main things have good connections. Come on, quit that. I'm bigger than you are, and you're going to come on in this boat. Let me get my net ready. <laughs> oh, God, I've got my hands full. This is a mean fish. <sighs> Ain't nothing wrong with him. Far size, but I'm going to have to do this. And this. Man. Quit. Now it's over with. There you go. Wow. I had a lot of trouble putting that fish in the boat. I ain't kidding you. It's a good one though. It's a mule. It's a big one. I want one bigger than that. I'd like to catch one about three times bigger. Woo! Golly, I love this stuff. Come on, Dragon Damon, catch one. I want to catch John one. Woo! The flapper with the combination of the Dragon Damon must be a winning combination. So go down, Rod, but let's get this fish unhooked. I was trying to eat me some Doritos and a Coca-Cola right here. On it. Quit. My goodness. Yeah. All right, that's a pretty good catfish. Pretty good blue. I'm well satisfied with that. Well, kind of. I want one bigger. Y'all know what I mean. <sighs> Woo! The monsters of the deep. Where'd he go? Oh, he done went to the bottom. Monsters of the deep. I think what I'm going to do is fish here just a little bit longer. Not much. Move the next hole. See what we can do. Let's catch another one. Yeah, we got him. Now this is John Knowles fish. <laughs> right here on the dragon demon that he gave me. Pretty good fish too. Pretty doggone good one. Flathead's got a lot of power. I believe pound for pound they're a lot more stubborn than the blue, but that that's just an opinion. Nothing but opinions for me. I'm not going to say anything's fact. When it comes to fishing, everybody feels a little different about things. 
and I respect that. All I know is I'm having some fun right here. Here he comes. Yep. Yeah. That flapper will get him. The demon dragon. I mean dragon demon. It's a generic of a I can't talk. Dead yawn it. I have so much fun out here. Figuring these fish out is what I like. That's a pretty nice flathead. He ain't quite as big as I thought he was. But he's a good one. They're all good. Tell y'all the truth, folks. If I catch a fish, if he weighs six ounces, he's a good one. Let's see if we can get him right here. Come on in here. There we go. Man, that's really a pretty doggone good one. In this current, every one of them are. Woo, what a tough mouth. Okay, uh, John Knowles, here's your, here's your flathead on your de uh, dragon demon, excuse me. Ow, he ain't that big, but he fought. This current's ripping. All right, folks, let's let him go. <clears throat> ow, ow. It's a good fish anywhere. Let's let him go. Go on back, you pretty thing. Okay. No harm done. Let's cut us a, y'all. Uh, tell you what, folks. Let's cut us another one. Flapper shad right here. Now, this knife right here is from Wallace Knife Works. And, um, folks, it's made out of real metal. He, he finds the real metal cuts them out custom makes them and they're sharp as a razor blade right here they'll <laughs> they'll skim the hair off of your arm i mean that's how you know a knife is real sharp and light as a feather and uh i'm gonna give y'all the link in the description box below if you want one of these now you can skin a buck with that one he gave me two he gave me a fillet knife and this one and this one right here, I'm trying to be careful not to cut my hand, but this one, uh, you can cut froze bait with this side, jagged side. But I'm just gonna go down through here real careful and go along the rib cage, reverse the shad and do the same thing. Start here at the bottom. And I'm trying to be real careful because it'll cut through that bone like nothing. See how sharp that knife is. <laughs> I don't want it to slip and cut me. Okay. And just remove this part right here. That's all I'm doing. And that's the flapper. Great for flathead or blue. All right, let's hook it up and throw it out. And current, I like to just hook, open his little mouth, and go up through his little head. Just like that. Ah, not really. Let's go through the tough part. I didn't hit that just right, that little tough. There we go. That right there get him. I'd keep him from spinning in this real heavy current. That looks like a too big of a bait, but it's not. We're after a big fish. Let's throw him out there and let it hit the bottom here in about 25 feet of water. Okay, we've made contact. Put her in a rod holder, a Steve Douglas monster rod holder there. Cross y'all's finger. We want to catch a monster today if we can. I'm doing my best to. The cat's it! Well, wait, 
going on right here on this big flapper again. That's a big shad too on there. Y'all seen it. So I'm going to let it, I'm going to let this fish load up on it. And he's doing that right now. I think he's on it. Yeah. Okay. We got us a big one right here. This is a big flathead. <clears throat> He's peeling drag. This is a big one. Okay. I knew there's another one in here. This is a big rock pile. Let me excuse me, folks. I'm going to go ahead and reel this in out of the way. It takes them a long time to tire out. He, we may be able to see him right here in just a little bit. Oh. This will make you sweat a little bit. It was cool this morning. Now it's probably about 78. Could be around 80 degrees right now. It's a big fish right here. Stubborn. They want to stay on the bottom, a flathead does. Let's just see if we can ease, and ease him on up here and get a look at him anyway. Yeah, here comes the leader. Look at there. Woo-wee. Man, oh man, I'm just going to go ahead and <clears throat> dedicate that one to John Noel again. Let me make sure I don't have him whisker hooked. He'll lose him like that. He looked hooked pretty good, but I want to make sure how he's hooked. Nah, he's hooked good. When they're that big, their skin is just like wet leather. We'll get him right here close to the boat and get an edit. A net under him, maybe. Okay, let's get him in the net right here. See if we can do it the first time. There we go. I'm getting good at this. I'm getting a lot better netting them than what I was when you fish alone. That's what happens right there. You got to learn to net them. That's a big fish right there. Big game. Power series made by Berkeley, twenty-four dollars, and sometimes you can catch them on sale for less than that. Darn good rod, darn good one. It'll handle whatever. Okay, let's get him unhooked right here. My goodness, what a fish! That's a big old flathead. This fish here is dedicated. To everybody who watches this channel and loves the sport of fishing just as much as I do or maybe more a sport no doubt second to none do that quick I, I really move once I get one in the boat I get him unhooked get him back don't want to hurt them there's no telling how old that fish was thank y'all very much for watching I appreciate everything y'all have done everything um, buying the shirts the hats it's helping me keep on the water I mean um, I don't know what else to say I'm going to fish till I drop out. That's a guarantee. Or fall out. Or when I, I tell you, I'm going to fish until I'm picking turnip greens off a of step ladder. There's your good one. So, whoa. Okay, I feel that when that adrenaline rush hits, it starts at my feet and it crawls up me and I get goosebumps, chill bumps. Whoa. Hey, man. Woo!
deliver. Go make them minions can, because it's good for you.